Hey everybody. So following on from my Def Leppard Hysteria unboxing video, I thought I'd do an unboxing for the other box set I've just got for my birthday, which is the Beatles Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And this is a lovely big box set. With the Def Leppard box set, I've now written a review in my blog of that box set, having listened to it all. And I'll do the same here. I haven't actually looked inside this yet, so this will be a first for me, as well as for you, if you haven't seen what's inside this before. But it's got a very nice cover on it, a very nice lenticular cover. You can hear it when you do that, so it's got a kind of 3D effect, which probably doesn't really show up here. Um, but when you move it from side to side, there's a kind of 3D effect on it, so that's kind of nice. Um, and it is a brilliant album cover, very nice and colourful. And it's about LP size, it's, it's CDs inside this, but they've made it an LP size box. Um, so on the side you've got Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, red text on yellow there on the side. Same on the other side as well. Now the back I already have a quibble with because um, the top part's not so bad because you've got uh, yellow on red but then you've got a lot of black on red and that contrast is horrible for me so I've got to get really close to read it like like here, like literally about here. Even then it's difficult. But you've got four audio CDs in here. Uh, a new stereo mix of the album by Giles Martin and Sgt Pepper sessions on two CDs with over 100 minutes of audio illustrating how the album was created. So that's going to be really interesting hearing all the outtakes and the different versions of the track as they kind of built them up and worked towards the final versions, all the work in progress stuff. That's going to be really fun because it is a great album. I have got this album already as part of a Beatles box set I downloaded from iTunes a little while ago. So I know it's a great album, so it'll be interesting to hear all the behind the scenes stuff. Newly mixed from the original four track tapes. Most of the material is previously unreleased. Also contains the original 1967 mono mix of the album and bonus tracks including three previously unreleased mixes. So you've got quite a lot of material on here. And then there's a DVD and Blu-ray as well. Um, fully restored 1992 documentary, The Making of Sgt Pepper, including interviews uh, with Paul, George and Ringo and fascinating in the studio footage introduced by George Martin. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, restored promotional films for A Day in the Life, Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Uh, 2017 Giles Martin, 5-1 surround sound mix and high resolution stereo audio in 96 kilohertz, 24-bit of Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, plus Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. And then you've got 144 page hardback book featuring an introduction by Sir Paul McCartney, comprehensive song by song details, and recording information, in depth essays about the design of the cover, the album's musical innovations and its historical context, and much more. Illustrations include photographs from the recording sessions, handwritten lyrics, and Abbey Road documentation, plus a replica of the original card insert and two bonus posters. So you've got an awful lot in there. Um, it's just a pity the text is so hard to read. So let me just slide that out of here. I think just lift that cover off like that. So you've got an EMI tape cover there. You've got track names on there. Again, even that's quite hard for me to read because the text is quite faint. But, I mean, this is how the original uh, front of the tape would have looked, so I can understand them reproducing that. I don't have an issue with that particularly. But yeah, it's just nice to have that uh, reproduced there. Helps to make it feel authentic. And the back is the same again. Um, just with different tracks listed, and you've got some uh, scribbled notes on there as well. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, these scribbled notes and their numbers and things on there will mean more to a lot of people than they do to me. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It's a nicer cover. So opening this up, that's very nice. So yeah, it's nice and wide and big as you can see there. So here on the top, what have we got here? Well, this is a bit like the uh, Def Leppard box set in that you've got this little bit of fabric here that you can just pull up to release everything that's in there. So that's brilliant, that makes it all easier to get out. So this looks very much like an LP, like the original LP. Got the sleeve there with the uh, album cover on it. On the back, 
Again, this is the original back of the album, I think. Um, it's black text on a red background again, um, which I think is a direct reproduction of the original album cover. I think we had this on vinyl, actually. I think when I got some vinyl records from my granddad's place, I think this may have been in there with it. It rings a bell. We got rid of all our vinyl when we moved house because it was just taking up way too much room, too big, too heavy. Um, but yeah, you've got all the lyrics on the back by the look of it here in very small uh, black text on a red background. Um, so it's going to be virtually impossible for me to read it. It'd be easier for me to Google it to get the lyrics if I wanted to. Um, but no, it's a faithful reproduction of the album. So in that sense, you can't complain. Now it's all done up with cellophane. So this opens up, and um, we'll see these form out. So you've got. Okay, so you've got all your CDs in here, by the look of it. And there, like that. And it'll stand out very nicely on that yellow background. Again, it tells you what's on each CD. Over there. But again, it's ridiculously small. Um, the contrast of the text is alright this time, but it's still really, really tiny, so I'd need a magnifier to look at that, but hopefully on the back of each CD there's also a listing as well. So let's see what we've got here. So CD1, it's easier to show you on the camera. This one these are little cardboard sleeves, so you've got to be careful when you take the CDs out not to get your fingerprints all over it. Um, but this is the original album, terrible text on the back. This is the new stereo mix, I managed to read that. So this is the new stereo mix of the album. Which of course makes sense, it's disc one, you've got to start with the album. And then the CD itself um, comes out the top. It looks like record, looks like a 33 record, you know, with the design. And that's easy to read. It's, um, it's white text on a black background. That's what I like. That's the kind of text that I like. So there's a track listing there. Now this is part one of the sessions. So again, You've got the cover there. It looks very similar to the first disc, doesn't it? But let's um, compare the two, because they are different. That's the original album. And then that's the next disc. So you've got different artwork. They look similar, but they are different. And then the text on the back. This contrast is much better. So it's going to be easier to read. Still got to bring it quite close up. But you've got various takes of Strawberry Fields Forever four takes, different takes, and then a stereo mix. Uh, when I'm 64, let's take of that. A few versions of Penny Lane, Day in the Life, four tracks for that, five tracks for that. Uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, a couple of takes for that. And Good Morning, Good Morning, a couple of tracks for that. So that'll be interesting to hear. I'm looking forward to that, and I'm guessing CD is going to look much the same. Yep, same design for the CD as before. The uh, Parlophone 33 and a third revolutions per minute design. And the CDs are all the ones on the left hand side of the um, book, having just looked closely. And you've got CD 1, 2, 3, and 4, and on the right you've got a Blu ray and a DVD. So we'll go on to CD 3. Mm -hmm. That's disc four. No, that's in the wrong bit. Okay, I just had to swap discs three and four around there in the book because they've been put in the wrong way around. Doesn't matter. Um, so this is CD3. Again, slightly different artwork to the previous two. And again, um, this is the sessions. This is part two of the session. So again, it's got the yellow uh, background. The actual album, as you'll see on the next disc, has the red background, so it's easy to distinguish from the back of the discs, disc covers, which is good. Um, so this is the second part of the sessions. Now you've got fixing a hole, uh, a couple of those, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, a couple of those, lovely Rita, one of those, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, getting better, a couple of those, within you, without you, a couple of those, she's leaving home, a couple of those, with a little help from my friends, one of those, and finally, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the reprise, 
again CD for completion, same as before. So now we've got uh, the mono version of the album. Um, so we're back to the black text on the red background again. Um, but again, we've got the album cover there. And just see how it differs to the original. That's the stereo mix. And then on the right, you've got the mono mix. So again, they're still doing the artwork slightly differently. And then obviously the track listing is going to be obvious. It's going to be the same as on the main album, I assume. Let's have a look. It is, but there's some bonus tracks on the end as well. That's the original one I mix this. It was Strawberry Field Forever, Penny Lane, Day in the Life, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, She's Leaving Home, and Penny Lane again. So those are the CDs. I can sit them in their pockets properly now. Anyhow, that gives you an idea of how the covers differ. And then Blu-ray on the top. Very simple front cover there. It distinguishes it from the CDs very clearly. So it's just the Sgt. Pepper's logo. There's no figures or anything like that. And on the back, again, very hard to read text. There's audio content and video content there. There's the uh, album in high quality form and video content as well. Um, so if you can read that, well done. Um, as far as I can tell, the video content is the making of Sgt. Pepper and promotional films. And how does the disc look? No, the disc is just the Sgt. Pepper logo as well this time. So that looks nice, that's good, that'll be interesting to watch. And then the DVD, an alternative version of the Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band logo. And then on the back, yeah, so it's just the same as the Blu-ray, so it's just in DVD form instead. So depending on what player you have, um, you can still play the content, which is just as well. That's good. So I imagine the disc will look much the same as well. The disc is slightly different, still based on the Sgt. Pepper logo, but it is uh, slightly different in appearance. So you've got the Blu-ray on the right and the DVD on the left there. So you can see there's just a subtle difference there. Straighter lines on the uh, logo on the DVD. It's more fancy on the Blu-ray. Yeah, it looks very nice. It's very nicely packaged. Um, it's nice the way they reproduce the sleeve on the original RP. And it seems to hold everything very nicely. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, Good way of packaging all of that. So what extras have we got here? We have a poster. We have a poster here. We go sit at the top of it and you've got Sgt. Pepper's New Hearts Club Band and the Beatles LP here now. And a great big picture of the band. It's very nice. Nothing on the back, just plain on the back. And then this is a circus um, advertisement. And it's quite a tall thing, so I can just uh, show it a bit at a time. Oops. Pablo Banks, uh, Circus Royal, Town Meadows Rochdale. Nice bit of artwork there. Grandest night of the season, last night but three. Being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, Mr. J. Henderson. Celebrated. Somerset Thrower, it's trampoline leaps, horse Xanthus throwing 21 somersets on the tightrope. There's quite a bit there in this uh, advert. I'll do a closer look at some of the small text in there. Oh, this must be the card insert that went into the album. So you've got Sergeant Pepper there himself with the stripes. And of course, the picture of the band at the bottom and the logos. Sergeant Pepper cutout. So I see a moustache, picture card, stripes, badges. And stand up, so it's all it was all stuff you could cut out and put together. I say, yeah. And then finally, we've got the book. You've got a 
slight border around the edge of the cover there. You can, you can see it at that angle and you've got the Sgt Pepper logo in the middle there. The back's just got the border but with nothing in the middle. Inside. Oh, a big colourful picture of the band there. That's your contents. So you've got uh, introductions, the path to Pepper, the London Underground, you know, the world in 1967, songs and recording details, Sergeant Pepper's musical revolution, the cover story, Sergeant Pepper arrives, Sergeant Pepper in America, and lyrics. So there's a lot of content in here. This is a thick book, 144 pages I think it said on the cover, didn't it? So I'm not going to show you the whole book obviously, but uh, a little flip through. So then you've got very colourful pages in here. All the different sections. And plenty of photos, plenty of images. Um, so there's plenty to get stuck into. But I have a feeling some of the text is going to be difficult for me again. Um, you've got some nice images as well. And if I can, I will read this because you know I bought it for that reason. Just because I'm visually impaired doesn't mean I can't read this stuff. Just mean I have to take my time over it, and why not? There's no rush for any of it. Yeah, I, I do like the design of these pages, I must admit. I have put um, some effort into it to make it feel you know, authentic and related to the album. At least on those red pages there that I happen to have turned to, you've actually got white text there. So that helps. That helps a great deal. And there's white text on the green page as well. So they have actually thought about the contrast in terms of reading the actual book. So that's something. The text could still be a bit bigger, but I'll live with that. put together. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, so I'll put that all back in the box, make sure the fabric's hanging out, book in, get a card in, it all sits in there nicely. And then the album back in there, put that over. And then put the cover back on. Done. There you are. So that's it. Um, I think it's uh, very nicely packaged. Um, obviously the music I'm really looking forward to listening to. I will write a review of that on my blog as soon as I can. So yeah, apart from issues with the contrast of the text, the uh, black on red being a pain for me. Um, I'm sorry if I kept moaning about that, but it's a big bugbear of mine, stuff like that. Um, but you know, I appreciate they were reproducing the original album artwork, so you know that's how it was at the time, and that's what you know the, ha the fact the diehard fans would expect. But um, yeah, it would have been nice perhaps to have improved that. But like I say, I'll get around it. So that aside, it looks very very nice, and yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for another video very soon. Bye bye.